We're back, and this time I have the distinct honor and pleasure to be with our senior VP and provost, Hisham. Hisham, thank you so much for being with us today. Nice to be with you, Tom. Appreciate it. First thing I want to ask you about is, you know, recently, last year, um, Marymount achieved a ranking in the U.S. News and World Report, achieved that again this year, but now being recognized by Forbes. What does, from your standpoint, what does that mean for this university? Okay, th I think that's an important uh, development that happened last year. This is the first time, last year was the first time in the history of Marymount to be ranked at the national level and to be among the top 300 university in the nation. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually the ranking happens at the regional level or the national level. So you need to meet certain criteria and to have certain programs to be able to be ranked at that level. Mm -hmm. So it means a lot to us. We've worked very hard in the last four years trying to emphasize our differentiators mm -hmm. and to build programs that are unique so we can be recognized and we're so happy that that uh, happened in the last year. Last year and this year we were able to maintain it too. Mm -hmm. So um, that will already will, will, uh, will give students, will give us more exposure at the national level and uh, the students will be even more proud of being part of Marymount as a well-recognized university. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you've obviously, you know, you're, you're a busy man and a lot going on. You've got two relatively new deans. Yes. Uh, Pam and, and Sumya. How, how, are, how are they settling in and your thoughts there as they kind of move forward on their strategies? Yes, I think the, uh, what we have in, uh, uh, for the last four years, we started with a very well thought out plan, mm -hmm. strategic plan with a vision and certain goals. Of course, we visit those goals and we visit our achievements every year and try to adjust sure. and, uh, and refine and, uh, uh, and, and also be adaptive to the changes. So some of the changes is when, uh, when a dean finishes their um, uh, duties and then go for another success somewhere else, mm -hmm. then uh, we try to hire people mm -hmm. who are uh, 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 who are consistent with our way of, the of seeing how, how our education is and who can fit into our uh, plan. Of course, they come and add new ideas, but at the same, mm -hmm. but, but we have a, a roadmap. They fit in the roadmap. So this is why we have two new deans. Uh, uh, Pam, Dr. Pam uh, Slavin Lee and Dr. Soumya Siva Kumar, and and both I think they hit the ground running, because when we pick them, we pick people who uh, see where we are going, and even during the interview process, during the hiring process, they know where they, where, they were, where we are going. They came up with new ideas, but the goal is the same, and they have been doing great, and I'm so pleased with what they have been doing. Well, that's wonderful, and I think strategy and understanding the the long range goals and being able to work towards those are, are very important. But, you know, today's an important day for Marymount with day giving and, you know, some of the – your thoughts on some of the initiatives from the colleges, whether it's, you know, Marnell and her the video production suite or the new scholarship for Dr. Black or, mm. you know, some of the things within Built or even, you know, Pam's college. In, in your thoughts on some of these initiatives? Yeah, I, I think it, uh, it's important to know, for especially for our current students, new students, and our alumni, to understand that Marymount exists – in an area with so many great universities in the Virginia, in Maryland, in DC. And uh, for us to succeed, we needed really to provide or to offer something different, something unique. So we made the choice from the day um, we started here that Marymount, we will try to emphasize our unique aspects, our differentiators, and also um, not to become a small version of other bigger universities. No, we want it to be the best version of what Marymount is. Having said that, what does that mean? It means that there are things that we do here that we're very proud of, such as uh, we really emphasize interdisciplinarity. So if you are a, a, a business major, then you will understand technology, you will understand ethics, you will understand art, because no problem in the world, and there are many problems that can be solved only by one discipline. Every problem needs to be solved by multiple disciplines. So our interdisciplinarity is one unique thing. And then we have many disciplines, many initiatives now that uh, emphasize that concept of interdisciplinarity. Our, 
our uh, programs, um, our de new degrees. If you are an engineering major now, then you not only understand artificial intelligence, but you also un understand leadership, you understand business, you have all these skills with, with an engineering degree. So this is, this is actually a unique thing mm -hmm. that we want to emphasize. We are uh, uh, recognized as an HSI, uh, Hispanic Serving Institution, which means that at least 25% of our students come from Hispanic backgrounds. That adds another important thing. We have a lot of women here that at the same time we can provide the market in some areas, in the area of uh, IT, uh, we need more people uh, maybe with uh, diverse backgrounds. We need more women to fill some of these. So we are filling this gap and the industry is very happy with us doing this. So uh, as I said before, we are just trying, to, we, add, we are adding um, uh, three research center. One research center deals with uh, aging. So and then when you look at aging, you, you, you address it from multiple areas, from the technology, from the healthcare, from the interior design, from the uh, uh, psychology, from the counseling aspects. So that's what we like to do. Again, interdisciplinarity. We take the aging issue and then we address it, study it from all these angles. Uh, innovative workforce, workforce, another center. Uh, workforce is, is, has changed a lot. Uh, the skills needed are different and we need to prepare people for jobs that are not even known yet for the future. So we do research to do this. Is it the artificial intelligence piece? Is it the contribution of underrepresented groups? I is it uh, uh, how to deal with AI? When, uh, are we gonna need people? These all are issues. And then the last center has to do with professional ethics and environmental solutions. And again, these are all problems that need interdisciplinary solutions. That's wonderful. So last question. You do a great job with campus engagement. Walk, you know, walk with the provost. And yeah. I've heard there's a new one. I'm relatively new here. But staff soccer, yeah. there's a little bit of rumbling. When are you bring in staff soccer about and, All right. and talk to them about some of your campus and All right. initiatives? Yeah, Tom, I, I think the, uh, the, the engagement with the campus is something I, I really enjoy. I'm very proud of. So uh, my entire career, even before I came here when I was a dean somewhere else, I always had this uh, tea with me once a week and walk with me. Here we have a tea with the provost and walk with the provost every Tuesday. You can have tea with me between one and two and every Thursday you can walk with me to one and two. And we added the soccer with the provost because this is a sport that we all love, we all like, mm -hmm. and uh, it brought us, we did it uh, last semester, and it, it was great way to bring the students, staff, faculty, and the provost together, play soccer, and compete in a very, very uh, nice and fun way. We're going to do another one in November. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I played soccer here for high school here in Arlington, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But, Hisham, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Tom. Really and appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate being here, and uh, I hope everyone who is listening to us is enjoying this and is going to support Marymount. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you.